I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about a new indie movie that was the smash hit of the Sundance Film Festival. In fact, it won two prizes there, both the Jury Prize and the Audience Award. The movie is called Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. What a title. Yeah. Um, I liked this movie. I thought it was quirky and it deals with a very upsetting issue and kind of makes it lighter, um, which a lot of movies don't do. And I appreciated that. I um, I don't know. With these types of movies, I don't like to walk out of the movie feeling unsatisfied and like kind of upset. And I don't know. This is kind of the same thing that happened with The Fault in Our Stars. And they're, they're really different movies, so I don't want to like compare them, but it's kind of... I mean, they deal with, like, similar issues, so I felt the same way. A teenager way. with cancer. And I just feel, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel like with these types of issues and storylines, I just get unnecessarily unsatisfied when I leave the theater. And so I don't like that, even though the majority of the movie didn't really make me feel that way, if that makes any sense. Well, I feel it's a very different movie from The Fault in Our Stars. It is. I'm not, I'm not trying to compare them. I'm just saying that they deal with the same subject matter. The, the movie is do. about two outcast teenagers who become involved with a teenage girl who's been diagnosed with leukemia. This is not the basis for a great screen comedy, but there's a lot of really funny stuff in this picture. Yeah. And it's very quirky, sometimes too much so. Some of the uh, quirkiness, I felt, was not organic. It felt like it was forced quirkiness, as if they just felt that they had a, to, to do something. Uh, I don't think I agree with that. I actually liked all of the quirkiness, because I think that the quirkiness subtracted from the upsetting issue, and I liked that. Well, I liked, I liked the humor when it worked. And when it does work, uh, in particular, is when the main character, played by an actor named Thomas Mann, uh, makes his own movies. And he does a lot of uh, movie parodies. And there's some really esoteric movies that they have found yeah, uh, funny. To, to parody. And it's very funny. Yeah, in the end titles, there's an entire list of all the movies that they used and the titles that they changed. And it's funny. The actress in the movie, is uh, her name is Olivia Cook. And she's very good in the movie. She's really good. She's she's a, she's a British career. accent. She does a great job with an American yeah. accent. You would never know that. Yeah, you would never know. Never know. The movie's a little self-conscious at times and a little pretentious at times. But all in all, the movie really snuck up on me. By the time it was over, I felt that the cumulative effect was very strong. And I, I would uh, recommend this movie. I think it's worth seeing. I would give this movie three and a half cylinders. I think I would give it three cylinders. Well, let's say the title again because I love the title. Me, Me and, and Earl, Earl and the, the Dying Girl. girl. <laughs> this is Alan Cylinder. <laughs> and Chelsea Cylinder. Saying, see you at the movies. Bye.